first of all, the blue economy refers to traditional marine sectors like fishery, shipping, uh, anything offshore. But it also relates or it also refers to new uh, types of services that we might not see yet, but we see are upcoming. Everything from desalination, uh, cooling services, uh, anything that's happening offshore, including mineral exploitation, not just oil, but bare minerals. The way it relates to geopolitics is uh, marine resources are some of the least defined areas in the world. The boundaries are not totally clear. Marine areas are also some of the least explored areas compared to, to land-based areas. But this is also a space where there's an increased industrialization and rapidly happening. And so, of course, if you have a rapid expansion in undefined boundaries, it is bound to uh, create clashes at some point. Uh, many of these resources are absolutely core for everything from batteries to uh, the electrification uh, process that we are uh, experiencing and it's also going to be hosting some of the major industries like offshore wind. So it's creating already clashes that at this point, not just over the resources, but over the control of space. And this is not, not only in, at home in Sweden, but it's also in the poles. And controlling the sea is, is absolutely fundamental for shipping, surveillance, etc.